but there's been a change she sang this morning. And by the way, if you didn't notice, uh, you will in second service, all those pictures that mm. were running on the screen while she was singing, she painted. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. Lifetime of painting. Awesome job. Yeah. Right to come. Bless you children, grandchildren. It don't even last an hour, but I'm going to be there and I'm going to do the national anthem. So y'all come help me sing again. <laughs> just remain standing just a moment. Brother Jim Knight is coming. We're going to give the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Jim is, uh, we're going to hear more about it, but Jim is a World War II veteran. And Jim, would you come and stand by the flag? Brother Don Giles, would you come and uh, we're gonna. You can sit on the, on the on the altar. We'll put that down. Sit on the altar. Amen. Father, the pledge to the flag. We're gonna pledge allegiance to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Amen. Amen. To the Bible. John, if you hold the Bible out. You've got a copy on your outline? Yeah. You, you just stand and hold the Bible. Oh, oh, oh. I pledge allegiance to the Bible. God's holy word. I will make it a land to my feet and a life unto my path. And I this words my heart that I might not sin against God. Amen. Amen. God bless America. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. You might be seated. Tonight, everybody, if, if you will, you, if you have uh, public, the public stations here in our market, the, the, the singing, there is going to be, I think it's on Monday, but do check that. And there's a, a complete program done on Francis Scott Key, who wrote it and who explained uh, uh, that story. And my heart is just overflowing. The Lord is asking me to ask you to take that.
that into consideration and follow how one man has how long influence on our country. Thank you. I know on Veterans Day we recognized all of our veterans, but I feel like today too as we we just celebrate our total independence, the people, men, women, who has helped us to become the free people that we are today. And so I want all of our veterans, uh, men and women, if you would come and just stand up here, we're going to, what I want you to do, I've got it listed in your program, is give your name, rank, serial number, and your branch of service. If you can remember all of that, if you'll just come and stand with us up here. Here, hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> Give us a hand. Look at this crowd. Woo! served in the military. All right. I'm going to give Brother Jim the honor, and he's going to tell us maybe where he even served. Um, he uh, had that honor the other day. So, Jim? My name is James Knight, and they called me Jim here, but I was in the Army in 1945, and... 46. My serial number was 11076304. And I was, I was in the Army Ordnance Millet, uh, Depot where we'd have drive big trucks and small automobiles and big equipment. And I was a mechanic and drove trucks. Did you serve overseas? I, I, I went overseas <coughs> and so did Darmstadt, Germany. Mm. That's where I was until until the, the, the December and in the, in the November 1946 I came home. Alright. Alright, then we'll start over here. <laughs> U.S. Navy, Yeoman Second Class, I was stationed in uh, Hawaii. Oh! 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 Pass it on to you, <laughs> I'm Brian Glenn. I, I was in the U.S. Army from '89 to '92, and I was in the. Uh, I was my my section was uh, Fire Direction Center and Field Artillery. Uh, my MOS was 13 Echo. I had a secondary MOS, a 62 Bravo. That's uh, parts clerk in the motor pool. I guess the same thing as. Uh, AutoZone or some, you know, somebody pulled the parts off the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody had to do it. Yeah, somebody had to do it. But um, when, uh, when I was in uh, Germany, um, that's when um, Iraq invaded uh, Kuwait and, and they called us up to war. And I, I was in Desert Shield and Desert Storm. Oh. Spent six months in the desert and uh, I'll never forget it. Robert Lang, U.S. Army, RA 149.45123. I was in the 51st Army Special Operations Command, Torrey Station, Okinawa. We handled all the top secret crypto messages that came through the military around the world. How oh. many words a minute did you type? I used to type 85 words a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I made two mistakes when I didn't know. <laughs> I 
I'm Harold Douglas. Uh, I was Staff Sergeant in the U.S. Air Force. That's AF-148-22073. I joined at the height of the Cuban uh, crisis. I uh, served in South Alabama. Uh, not Georgia. Uh, and then uh, I finished up in uh, the South Vietnam in 1967. Uh, and the Lord went with me the whole time. Amen. Pardon me, I am forgetting things. I was uh, especially C4 and uh, something else I missed. <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen sixty-six, sixty-seven. You would be in love. My name's Don Smunk, and I served in the U.S. Army Reserve. Uh, my BR one five six two one six five two. U.S. Army Reserve. Nineteen sixty sixty one to sixty-six. Foley, Perry M, RA 17616958, Specialist 5th Class, D Company 317th Engineer Battalion, stationed in West Germany, in mm. Vietnam. And I had a good time while I was over there, but, you know, all things come to an end. I wish I could have stayed longer, but I didn't. I'm Donald Clarence Brigman. Uh, regular Army, RA-14886-905. Uh, I was assigned to the 25th Infantry Division in Hawaii. Uh, we later deployed Vietnam in 1966 and 67. Uh, my specialty was uh, crypto communications. And uh, I was proud uh, to be American and proud to serve for this great nation of ours. Amen. My name is David Vasquez. Uh, I went in in 1965, just before Christmas. Uh, I was an E-5 sergeant uh, stationed in Black Kruznak, Germany. Uh, a medic. Uh, my company <coughs> was airlifted to go to Israel in 67. We flew over Israel for five hours. Thanks God, everything got cleared. <laughs> uh, I served a total of eight years, six <coughs> Uh, my number, all I remember is four digits, five, three, five, eight. <laughs> I'm Jeff Holzhauser. I was in the Navy on uh, two nuclear submarines for six years, and I was a second class petty officer. And uh, one of the submarines uh, carried 16 ballistic missiles there for three years. And the other one's a fast attack. We hunted and chased down other submarines. My name is Marvin Godfrey. My my rank was AM3. I was involved with a uh, naval air group. We were stationed in Sanford, Florida. Uh, our our duty was, and what we were preparing for for was the carrying of the atom bomb. It, it had, we had three big airplanes that could land on the deck of an aircraft carrier. And that's what our duty. That's what our duty was for. Whoops. We never got to do that. Thank, thank the Lord for Harry S. Truman, who gave the permission to drop that thing and stop that war. My serial number was four six two zero nine six six. I'm Chuck Gilliard. Um, I was in the Army in seventy two one to seventy three. Uh, we were combat engineers, and our job was, in case the Russians attacked Europe, we were to blow up some bridges and build some others. Um, and go to the government. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was a private first class twice. <laughs> <laughs> Charles 
Charles uh, Jerry Hudson. Um, spent four years in the Air Force. And, uh, uh, rank of Airman, first Airman, first class. My serial number is 1484 6169. And, uh, I didn't have to go to Vietnam, but that was the era. It was uh, 64 to 68. So, uh, both uh, aviation, um, electronics, uh, avionics. Okay. <coughs> you got proud to be? I'm proud, yeah. Come here. I'm shy. <laughs> Shane Seegers, I was in the uh, Marine Corps from 93 to 97, and uh, I was an aviation ordinance. Okay. Come on over here. I don't normally uh, prepare notes when I pray. But this, what I, today is so important. So very, very important. I'll be brief. But I, I don't want to skip anything that, that would give honor to the Lord and to uh, our service. It is written in the Bible, along with many other things, that as the king goes, so goes the people. You ever, you ever read it? As the king goes, so goes the people. Today, I will concentrate on, on our president after I honor our men and women in the armed forces. Let us pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before your holy presence this morning. Humble by all that you have done throughout the ages past to preserve this great nation. And today, it is nothing but right to give you honor and glory and worship and praise. We come in the holy and precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who in spite of the wickedness and the evil of man, you have given hope unto the world. Praise Through God. the shedding of his precious blood Praise on God. Calvary, where he bore our sin, our guilt, and our shame, there on Calvary, satisfying heaven's claim for justice Thank you, against Lord. us. We are free today. Maybe not free in body, but we are free in spirit today because of that precious blood. We thank you, O God, for the bountiful blessings upon our nation, the United States yes. of America, yes. the home of the brave and the, and the land of the free, and for the privilege of having lived here married here, raised a family here, Thank you. enjoying all these years by your grace, O oh God, the, the freedom and the peace which is ours today. Hallelujah. Help us, O oh God, lest we forget that freedom is not free. Nor, and, and, and Father, and that peace must be protected and preserved. Countless thousands, even millions of lives have been lost yes. because of the wars throughout our, our, our world. And help us today, O oh God, not to forget that price, mm. a terrible, terrible price which has been paid, and to take it for granted. <coughs> we, we today, O oh God, help us as we honor, to, as we give honor to the men and women who have served our country well, at home and Thank you, at abroad. Thank you, Lord. During World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, 
the Kuwait, the war in Kuwait, the war in Afghanistan, and I know there are other conflicts around the world which our men and our women have served well in. And we have, we, we currently have men and women on the battlefront in Afghanistan. Mm. And we give glory and honor and, and worship and praise to you, O oh God, and to these men and women who are giving of their lives yes. in service yes. to our yes. country yes. to yes. preserve yes. our way of life. Yes. We pray this morning for our president, yes. Donald J. Trump. Yes. It seems, O oh God, to me, in the minds of some, that whatever he does is wrong and whatever he does not do is wrong. <laughs> we pray, our Father, that you will give this man a backbone like yes. a soul yes. and give him the bravery of General George Washington yes. and the tenacity of, of, of General MacArthur, Douglas MacArthur, yes. and for the courage of Harry S. Truman, yes. who gave the final okay to the dropping of the bomb at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Oh God, we're thankful for that, that this war was stopped. For, he, for we would have suffered great loss had it continued. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for stopping this, this war. And surround our president, O oh God, with men of, men of wisdom yes. and yes. understanding. Yes. Yes. Amen. Give, give, allow him, O oh God, by the working of your mighty yes. power to become as wise as serpents yes. and as harmless as, yes. as a dove. Yes. Yes. Clothe him, O oh God, as it were, with a suit of armor, that no harm might come to him. And be unto him a buckler and a shield yes. and a tender, and help him to walk humbly before you all the days of his service. Yes. We pray for those in Congress, Lord, yes. that they might cease from this political chess game that they are playing mm. and get down to business to serving our country and its yeah. people yes. for, for our fathers gone on too long yes. and we are desperately in need oh, of God. men who oh, will God. stand up for our nation yes. and we ask these things oh God we ask these things in the holy and precious name of the Lord Jesus Thank Christ you. Amen. 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 Amen Amen Give the Lord a praise <laughs> Stand and uh, we're going to get to the folds of the flag another day. Realizing the time, join with me in singing God Bless America.
Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Sylvia Passmore, for coming. Brian's the video. God bless America. God bless you. Have a safe and happy 4th of July. Come back next Sunday.